Welcome back to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Our second conversation is about the scarcity of gas as it might just be hitting Nigerians really hard. There are indications that gas prices will further increase and Nigerians may have to pay higher as marketers have hinted that a high exchange rate of dollar to the Naira is having a negative impact on importation. The National Operation Controller and the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ipman Mike Osatui, uh, said independent marketers source dollar for importation from the black market Hence, uh, gas would continue to increase until the Naira is strengthened at the exchange market. Uh, members who still sell gas uh, bought gas at uh, 20 metric tons at around 11 million Naira uh, those last month, but now the price has jumped to 12.3 million Naira per 20 metric tons. That's according to the president. He noted that Gas consumption stood at the risk of further increased hike as a dollar continued to uh, be strengthened. Apart from low gas supplies, uh, the internal or international market, majorly due to the Russian and Ukraine war, findings show that gas production from Nigeria liquefied natural gas limited, that's the LNG, has uh, uh, you know, gone high or has dropped. The drop in the output was majorly due to the high-level thefts, as well as oil and gas pipeline vandalism, which has left the NLNG operating at 60% capacity. Uh, we have uh, a guest joining us this morning. Uh, he's an economic expert, Hussein Olaruwaji. Olaruwaji, thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what are your thoughts on the current challenges, you know, that the sector is faced with? I mean, we have the Ukraine crisis and you also have the fact that we're underproducing. Yeah, yeah thank you so much. I think uh, in addition to what you just mentioned, which is uh, the, majorly the Ukraine war, because we uh, export the crude oil, we don't refine we export and we buy part of the exports that is refined back from um, the countries uh, who majorly refine. Uh, given looking that aside um, and considering the Ukraine Russian war, which uh, also contributed to the gas scarcity in the world currently. We also have our internal issue in Nigeria. Take, for example, you can see the transportation of the refined uh, produce is also an issue, just like we currently experience Kogelo Kaja roads with floods. We also have um, other link roads to the north, like Sungeru Bindara Road, also been affected by the flood. So there are a lot of couple of uh, factors that is affecting the item price. Um, you've rightly mentioned it is around ICAN dollar rate, which also contributed to it. I think it's the right time we look towards reviving our dead refineries, because if that is in place, at least it will decentralize the refined process and make available the uh, gas that we need to operate in different regions. Like we have refineries in major regions in the country. So um, what becomes of the country where you have those who are uh, patronizing uh, our product uh, now having you know double thoughts uncertainty following an inability to supply and so they're looking for alternative what becomes of the economy at this point so um the the, the basic truth is we still need to look inward and strategize 
a dependent economy is not too good because when issues of natural disasters or issues that is beyond our control happens, it is meant for us to experience uh, challenges like this, right? So we need to wake up from uh, where we are and start working towards being independent so that we don't lose uh, our sane. You know, uh, we need to work towards ensuring that we are self-sufficient as a country. So I, I'd like to ask you, you know, as an expert, uh, what will be the way forward? How do we navigate our way out of this now? So first thing first, I think there is new initiative from Dangote um, Refinery um, to ensure that we refine our produce, our crude oil uh, ourselves, and I will also go with just like the way NMPC is being privatized at the moment. I think the current refinery owned by Nigeria should also be privatized. It should be sold out such that the government can manage and regulate and ensure that they are working in full capacity. With this, I believe we are going to have a, a better solution to the challenges we currently experience. So, uh, you know, every other time we talk about this, there's always uh, a response that there's going to be a Dangote refinery or there's a Dangote refinery. I mean, we're talking about the price hike now. Uh, so the, the price is already on the high and we're expecting, uh, you know, an increase does having a the Dangote refinery solve the problem of, you know, uh, having this product at a fair price? Because I'm wondering. Okay, so majorly what we have as a issue in Nigeria, there are just two things. And if those two things are fixed, every other thing will be fixed. We are uh, predominantly a dependent country. And we need to fix power. We also need to fix roads or means of transportation rather. If we're able to fix power, at least if we are producing, we can divert issues of gas, the, the S, uh, SS gas produced to power light for domestic use. Why we focus our hydro power stations to industrial use so that because Hydro, hydro power station is actually cheaper compared to gas generated electricity. And um, it, it's because of the heavy power that industries need to operate, it will be good. We focus our productivity of electricity to industry through hydro power generation. If we're able to fix power, we are fixed approximately 60 percent, approximately 60 percent of our problem. Then road, we will see will become a producing country and the price of dollar to Naira will drastically be reasonable and we'll get ourselves out of this mess. Uh. Hosani Olari Waju, thank you so much for being part of the show. We have to go because we're out of time, but uh, we appreciate you on short notice for making our time to be with us. You're welcome. Have a great day. And that's it. We're looking at the increase, uh, the, the, the tendency that we probably might just have, you know, an increase in the prices of gas due to the many challenges that the country is faced with internal and external issues. And that's the size of our conversation. It's okay to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's if you missed out on any part of the conversation. And uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Popo. Uh, thank you for joining us. Have a great day.